Hi guys, I'm here to answer another question on what is the best way to check your ketones when you're first starting out doing ketosis, okay, as a beginner. Um, there are three different methods. You can check the urine uh, through the blood or through the breath. And there's actually three different types of ketones. And by the way, ketones are the byproduct of fat fuel. And your body likes ketones better than glucose. It's a more efficient fuel. So it just so happens that each different ketone will show up in different methods of assessment. For example, when you're checking for the urine, you're gonna find this ketone body, it's called. If you're checking the blood, you're mainly gonna find this specific ketone, and the breath is gonna reveal this ketone. All right, so let me just cover the pros and cons of the urine. The pro is that it's very inexpensive compared to actually checking the blood or even the breath. This is actually uh, tested with a device that cost uh, might be like $100 or might be less depending on what the quality of unit that you get, but it's a one-time purchase. Uh, this could cost anywhere between seven to $10 for 100 strips. Uh, this could be 75 to $100 for the unit and then you have to buy the testing strips, so it's a little more expensive. But I do like this starting out at least uh, just to get your feet wet because you have the ability to test yourself through the day and determine what bumps you out of ketosis with foods. And then you can tell if you're in a very light ketosis or deep ketosis based on the color. Now, the problem is when you do ketosis over a period of time, um, you're gonna be utilizing these ketones. I mean, think about it. For the ketones to be showing up in the urine, those are wasted uh, fuel particles, okay? So you're not actually using them. Um, so as you become more efficient and you adapt, and your body is using more ketones, you're gonna see less and less uh, ketones showing up in the urine. So it's good in the beginning, but it's not good as you get into it, okay? The other thing is if you drink too much water, it'll dilute the urine and it will affect your results. So you wouldn't necessarily wanna drink a lot of water and then test yourself, okay? Um, you wanna probably test yourself maybe an hour after you drink water, that would give you a better measurement, okay? so. This is a little less accurate, um, but it gives you a good ballpark figure. All right, now let's talk about the blood. Uh, this is the most accurate way to check ketones. It's a little more expensive because you have to have the unit and then the, uh, the testing strips. But you're testing the type of ketone that is the most abundant ketone in the body. And I recommend doing this maybe after you've uh, used the testing strips for the urine for a while. Maybe, let's say, for example, you use this for three weeks and then you graduate to a device that you can check uh, with using your blood. Um, the best device that I recommend is called Keto Mojo. I'll put a link down below. Uh, I don't get any commissions or anything from that. I'm just, I just recommend it because it's a good company. All right, and the last way to check your ketones is through breath. Uh, the pro is that once you buy the device, you can check it over and over and over and you don't have to buy any strips, urine strips or blood strips. So that's a really good benefit. The con is that it's expensive to buy the device, okay? And over time, when you do this, you'll see less of this specific ketone just simply because your body is utilizing this fuel source more and more. And one last point I just find interesting is that, you know, people have this concept, they have to burn off all these calories of fat to lose weight. But when you get into ketosis, there are ketones coming out of your breath. Basically, pieces of fat coming out of your breath and you're peeing it out without being burned. And you're basically doing that by lowering your carbs. So you're losing weight, not necessarily by burning every single calorie, you're actually eliminating them through the breath and the urine, which is another benefit of doing ketosis for losing weight. All right, guys, that's my quick summary. I will see you in the next video. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis, how about that?